Hello, and welcome to JadeKind Gaming Presents the Observatory. My name is Bob, and this is the 67th episode of the Shadow Kingdom 5th Edition Dungeon Dragons campaign. <laughs> and we're joined here as Austin as Mary, Beth as Jojo Jamchar, <laughs> Adam as Air Wolfgang, Ryan as Mother June, and Nick as Marble. Mary Bell, I know. Mm -hmm. And we left off with a lengthy morning meeting. Muffins Again. thrown, walls made, mm -hmm. and just lifetimes of cringe to reflect upon. It's Monday. Monday. Monday, Monday. Okay, and when we left off, <coughs> some of you were going to... Uh, everyone's had their day, so we're everyone's at the same time, I believe. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. We're, yeah. We're, I, mean, I think we were just finishing the meeting. Okay. Yeah. So, everyone's so we were we were planning on what to do, but no one's really done it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will start over here with uh, Mary and Jojo, since you guys were planning to do something together. Are you actually doing that? Or are you doing weird things? It was the morning meeting, right? Yeah. Right. Morning meeting is over. Yeah. So I go to bed. All right. You go to bed. <laughs> so Jojo, this person that you were just told you're going to explore the suburbs went went. Okay, that's great. And he went to. Yeah. Can see, I see you later tonight? What? Wait, I'm gonna fall. Wait, what time are we going? Where do we go? What do we do? When am I gonna meet you up? Meet so, up as this person, I assume you're flying. I mean, yeah, we're inside the building, yeah, probably. <laughs> just hovering. Yeah. Because I can. So, mm -hmm. as he hovers along, like, frustratingly, like a foot above you, he's about oh, your height normally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. Impor it's important to establish superiority in the hierarchy. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking up frustrated and just being like, but like, hold up, wait, I need more information, please. Uh, what's that? That's like, that's like, uh, what, it's mornings? It's like 10 a.m. or some crap? It's about 9, 9, no, uh, meetings at 9, so yeah, 10, 10, 30, Yeah, it's like 10 a.m., so that, what, what's that, like 6 p.m.? Yeah, 6 p.m.? So you oh, so oh, 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 here I meet you here at six p.m. Yeah, and then we go to the new the to the suburbs. Is yeah. Have, okay. And okay. We crawl around at night like a bunch of weirdos. Oh oh I didn't. So we don't go in the day. We have to. We have I'm, to go at night. You can. I sleep. You can do whatever you want. Why do you sleep? So I can crawl around at night. Okay. All right. All right. He's the night shift I, guy. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I'll see you at six. Alternatively, you can just ask around and go to the suburbs on your own. I might. No promises, but I'll still see you at six. Remember, you gotta choose between murder and arson. Murder is a lesser charge. I don't think it is. We I, have, don't know. I have no idea if it is or not. Uh, I'm just talking nonsense. Looks around and is like, and There's is Steve that standing true? in the corner just... <laughs> no, 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 It no. just goes and starts no, walking no, no. down she's, the stairs. She's going to look around and try and make eye contact and be like, is that true? No! <laughs> okay, okay, I don't know. Uh, I, it depends on how many people I'm sure die or they are. <laughs> <laughs> you got problems, Mary. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, okay, I need to get weapons anyways, so... The very tall white dragonborn walks out. Hammerstein, Molly, they're all just kind of walking out of the meeting and like dispersing to go off to their own thing. The last one who walks out is uh, the very large, like almost eight foot tall uh, Minotaur. Just goes, I hope you have a pleasant day. And walks down the stairs. Just yeah. clop, 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 clop. You too, sir. He's like extremely well groomed. I feel like, like she's just very intimidated by him. Like his, I don't everything know is like that. in line, clothes are perfectly yes, clean, sir. pressed, buttons. Yes, his sir. hooves are polished. Like he is incredibly well put together. Right. He's the fanciest of boys. <laughs> um Okay, so you're going to sleep suburb a sub uh, sub. Um Okay, I want to go pick up... Can I go pick up my club? Sure. I want to go do that. So you're walking down the stairs. Uh-huh. After the, the, after the fancy suit man. Uh, Jim's coming up. Oh! Just walks she... right past you with the thing. Morning. Goes in there and starts cleaning. It's just like, there's muffins everywhere! And then you just hear a, go get him, buddy. And there's... 
There's magical room back in the room. Yes, no, <laughs> I'm, 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 like, like, do I go interact with Jim and complete my love story? Or do I go do a thing that's more productive? I think she's going to look, but, like, still feel weird about her weird note that I'm fully regretting doing. So we're going to continue heading out. She needs to get her great club. Okay. You know, a great club you, is a really great way to... You can't... The bag of bad. <laughs> <laughs> Works for cavemen. <laughs> that, that's assault. No. It works for cavemen. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's assault, brother. <laughs> we, um, we beat elves over in the head and drag them around by their hair here. <laughs> uh... uh yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not falling for the for the gym trap. Um, as much as I would like to. <laughs> um, Find out later, Jim is a trap. I know. <laughs> I know. It just. It would be a reverse one. It would be, <sighs> but still hilarious. <laughs> um. So yeah, so goes to get great club. Where what where was that again? That was at a uh, the smithery. At a smithy who generally does uh like uh <laughs> household goods and things like that. <laughs> That's why it's a mediocre club. <laughs> That's why it's a mediocre club. Also, I just to tie it back to that's where we tried to rob and died at. <laughs> or died because of. Who? Gato and Yank. Tried to rob that that's, smithy. That, that smithy wound up be that that shop is where two of uh, the characters got killed, or got arrested and then killed. Oh, that, that was the one they tried to rob. That, that's weird. That had a uh, oh. woman who was actually attending. The that front was of the shop. The, her the enchanter cousin. She was just stopping by. Mm. Right, yeah, she not... worked in the front of the shop. He was the smithy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was the actual smith. Yeah, she's gonna go, go, gonna go to the smith, and then say I returned for my great club. Oh, I'm glad you've come back. Yes. One moment. We we also never discussed price. So he pulls out what it looks <laughs> like. It's definitely a club, but you're pretty sure that it started life as the half to a pickaxe and it's got the metal bands on it but here you go two silver it is a great club but it's definitely an axe handle like you can you can tell it was just like chopped off yeah like he makes tools you wanted a club he has axe handles you wanted a great club so he reinforced it with metal and the like he did work on it it is a club but it's a hundred percent looks like an axe handle. Like, but like, so it's 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 lame looking. It's a functional great club. I don't know, like, what to you is a cool looking stick with metal on it? <laughs> I don't know. Not that. Hmm. She's gonna look at it and be like, hmm. It's too silver. <laughs> it's too silver. I'm like, do I want the to insult the man? The gold is worth ten silver. Is I'm like, do I want to? Do I want to insult the man and throw it back at him? Kind of. Do damage with it. <laughs> he he made the thing you specifically requested. Yeah, hit him for it. He's clearly taunting you. He's asking for it. He's literally asking for it. You can't. You're not there. Him. You just said you're doing sleep. things when you're asked to do. It. You just can't be blamed. That wouldn't be fair. Just so you so, know that he's a warlock. Yes. <laughs> also, she's, don't sign any contracts she gives you. She's gonna look, like, mildly disappointed and then realize she probably asked for this. And 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 ha- she only has gold pieces. So she's gonna be like, can I get change? No, oh, absolutely. He goes and walks inside, has a small chat, comes out, gives you eight silver. Says, here you go. And if you're looking for... Uh, Enchanting. My cousin does it, but she mainly does household goods. What does that mean? Well, like if you want it to always be clean, so there's no like blood fragments or scalps or bones in it, it can do that. Hmm. You could change the color of it if you felt so inclined. Oh, could, yes. Could it be intended not to keep itself clean, but to <laughs> clean things that it's hitting? <laughs> yeah, you can make it clean things that it's hitting. I I want a pink one. Oh, okay. 
Uh, she's just inside. Uh, immediately runs inside. And it's like, hey, makes pink. So you burst into a thing. And it's like, kind of like a boutique mm-hmm. store where there's like lots of things on display and things like that. So there's a lot of teapots and uh, kitchen knives and like dishes and towels. And like, it, it's a mm. home goods store, basically. Mm, yes, for, like, I understand building it out and you walk up and you just go <laughs> and slam it on the counter and be like can you make this pink <laughs> she just goes oh you must be yes let me uh, take a look see here uh, my cousin always puts anchors in there for me so it wouldn't take me very long to do uh, and you just want a basic color shift I, I want it pink and I would like it to not ever look like it's bloody so clean all the time okay uh since it's going to get bloody, it won't be a utility craft, so it is going to be a bit more expensive, but pink with just a self-cleaning enchantment, uh, 25 gold. Okay, I don't have that. How much is just the pink? Oh, pink, 10. 10 gold? Mm-hmm. I'm going to come back another day and I'm going to broke for that. Hey, there ain't no shame in it. Thank you. I had to work for my stuff too, it's fine. Thank you. I, I, I will remember you. Alright, well you have a great day. You too. Now, hear me out. You know what will probably cost, like, a silver? Paint. 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 You're not there. <laughs> Come um, on, he gets to go to the whole other shoulder. Um, yeah, and no, she... She, was there either. she, uh... She has... Doesn't want to spend... She only has 17 gold pieces. She wants cute clothes. So she's gonna go back to that. The Thurston House? Yes. Oh. Have you tried a pink zoot suit? She doesn't want a zoot suit. I have other ideas. Okay. What if so, it's in flamboyant pink? A house is very close. What about to 90s there? businesswoman shoulder pads? Yeah. <laughs> Look at, like, Ellen from Seinfeld, Bam. but pink. Don't want the shoulder pads. I have ideas. <laughs> okay, so you go to Thurston House. Yes. And ding, 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 you walk in. Hello. Oh, hello, dear. How can I help you? Um, um, I, I have a, I have an acquaintance, Molly, who has oh, a really yes, cool one of my best customers. pink zoot suit, and I want a cute pink thing as well, okay. but not a zoot suit. Excellent. What do you have in mind? Um, well, I, I like the leather look, so contemplating leather or something with, like, a tutu. Oh, what, uh, he, uh, goes and, like, smacks a, he has a... Uh, uh, measuring tape around his neck and he gives it a smack and it just goes <laughs> and zips over to you and starts taking measurements mm-hmm. and uh, numbers start appearing on a board that he has. Ah! What for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Little lollipop <laughs> warrior. It's like a little maid outfit. Surprising there's so much fan art when I typed in goth. Lolita Barbarian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure this is great for everyone out there. <laughs> that, that's not helpful. Believe it or not, you, you can find anything on the internet. Okay. So, yeah, he starts doing that and you start uh, talking out your idea. So mm-hmm. you want, like, are we talking, like, corset, no sleeves? Are we talking, mm-hmm. like, vest? Mm. Kind of vest in a corset? Are we talking, like, lace in the corset? Into like a leather corset, like what are you thinking? I like full bodysuit. I like lace into corset, and I want tutu. Okay, and like just like full little kid ballet tutu. Or are we talking like mm, like pink suit. swan? Because like it just sticks straight out, basically, is what you're talking. Like <laughs> like Ace Ventura. And no, he's in the insane asylum. No, no, we want like, like, like pink. Yeah, like, like black swan, but pink. I've never seen black swan. Oh, black swan, but pink. Isn't it just a ballet style? Yeah, yeah, yeah not like little kid do too. Well, it's a Natalie Portman movie. But... Yeah, but but it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's like ballet style too too. Okay, I. I... I'm looking he, up. He's not. He's not up on I his have, ballet. I have been to shock. Oh, it is no more just out there ever. than I thought it was. It's. It's more. Yeah. I think I'm gonna let her. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let her find the one she's talking about. 
So uh, you figure out what you're uh, looking mm -hmm. at. We're going to move on to other people. Cool. So you j just keep looking. We'll come back around cool. to you. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, Air Wolfgang, what are you doing? Uh, Abbott and I start heading mm -hmm. to uh, meet Mother. You're coming from a different place, so. That's true. But we're, we're going to um, Abbott's wife's shop. Okay. So uh, it's a couple hours after the meeting. Mm -hmm. You waited the requisite amount of time for Mother June to get there, and you meet up on, mm -hmm. outside of the shop. I mean, we're, yeah, because we're actually closer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so you just hear, ting, 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 like continuous working. And with each one, Abbott like kind of flinches a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to read Abbott on this. So, be insightful. Not very insightful, though. Uh, and you took, like, the whole uh, Mithril seal with you, didn't you? Well, I think it's too... Like, we're going to have to have a crew come to get it out. out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that we would have been eight. able eight. to just kind of bring it with us. But we could bring it to her. Or bring her to it? Either way. Well... It to I wasn't we weren't able to bring it with us. But we could bring it to her. Yeah, in other words, we would be able to bring it to her once the time is. But yeah, we're not yeah. like I just didn't... randomly walking it through the streets right now. Yeah, I, I just I didn't know if he meant her to it or bring it to her later. Uh, no, Spartacus can have it transported, or we can show it to her. Okay. okay. I didn't. I was just figuring it out. Mm. Okay. So yeah, uh, you're with your eight. Abbott's just uh, a little hard to read right now. Okay. This is his normal twitchy self. I guess I'll go first marching order-wise. Okay, so you are walking in and Abbott's like behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, quick thing, Abbott, what, what's her name? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Gail. Gail Jorgensen. Okay. Yeah, I've already got it. Alright. So, we got... Wolfgang. So as you guys walk in, there's a ting -ting 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 -ting, like a very loud bell that rings as you walk in, and Abbott just kind of looks up and goes, that's new. And uh, uh, there's no one at the counter, but you hear banging from uh, out back. And there's uh, another bell that's like on the counter that is like, it's like this big, but it's like a little plunger boom, 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 bell, but it's huge. I'll put my hand on, on it and ring it. It, it creates Dong. a... And like almost like the alarm spell went off where there's a psychic resonance to it. And you hear the, uh, the tinging from the backstop and muttered curses as a uh, large uh, Goliath walks in through uh, the back door and goes, What do you want? And she's just looking down at you and goes, Well, you little shit. Where have you been? Uh, hi, 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 baby. Uh, Miss uh, Gale? Yeah? Hello, my name is Mother June, and I am a uh, friend of uh, and the uh, head of the church of Renette, and <coughs> I've been spending some time with uh, your uh, husband Abbott here. Uh, apparently, he's uh, been she just like keeps trying to like look around you, <laughs> and he just like is <laughs> expertly hiding. <laughs> I, I, whatever, I'll, I'll push him so he's at my side. Yeah, he's just sitting there like I'm. I'm. I'm working on me, baby. <laughs> But anyway, he, he's been uh, having some trouble, and he's uh, come to me and explained the situation with the 
amount of problems that he's caused you personally. That he's a degenerate gambler? Yes, I'd say that is uh, something that uh, he's needed assistance on trying to uh, curtail. And I've given him some instructions on what the actual value of money is and what uh, what's most important in life. But we've uh, he's been gone for a long time, as you would know. But in that time, we've been working together to try to figure out how best to pay you back for the wrongs that he's done to you. And we pay me back, Abbott. Are you gonna actually pay me back? Well, um, yeah, I got, I got some. I got something lined up. Oh, you got something lined up. Uh, yeah, I'd say we think... We have something lined up with them. As far as I'm concerned, y'all can keep him. What work do you want me to do? And what's my profit margin on it? Because I've had to work really, really hard to rebuild my savings after some useless twit just completely depleted it. And, like, Abbott just keeps getting smaller and smaller. And it's like, well, we do have something that uh, we are, at this point, just willing to give you. <coughs> All right, let's see it. Uh, would you wish to? We we weren't. It's uh, a what is the large. um? It's rather large. Would you? Yeah. What's like the length of diameter of it? It's about the size of this table, like in. Basically, yeah, I, I give like a rough estimate of, yeah. of size. We uh, didn't bring slab it. of mithril. It's so we probably will... about fifteen pounds of mithril. Yeah. Since we have about fifteen pounds of mithril that he believes you may be able to make use of. I could use it. How much? Well, it seemed uh, Abbot here felt that he owed you. And he's worked well with us, and so helping him uh, write his debts <coughs> is something that we believe is important. All right. So we're just kind of going to get your assessment of it in order to be able to see whether or not you consider it to be enough monetarily. There's still going to be obvious, uh, looking down at Abbott, personal things that he's going to have to pay you back with, but um, this is something that we were hoping would at least help mend the trouble between the two of you, because me personally, one of the things that I dislike the most is when loved ones can't get along with each other. Oh, we get along just fine until he starts gambling again. Well, you know where you've gone wrong there, right? looking down at him yeah yeah so yeah his own money well that's going to have to be done in moderation and none of your money <laughs> all right it's a start but uh i don't know if you wanted to Whatever, close up shop temporarily to come and see what we got for you, or, or if there this was some maybe on whether or not it's gonna make me want to have an order to fulfill. Stop by later tonight, wherever it is. Yeah, say if you want to stop by later tonight, that's fine. It's give her the address. I'm sure she'd know where the balance plates of bar is. Hmm. <laughs> it's this bar that m mysteriously got blown <laughs> up and now we're in possession of. Yeah. She looks down at Abbott and goes, You'll be there and you will show me. Yeah, because Sure thing, baby. Maybe after uh we can I mean I'm at Langston Cooper, maybe I can get us some tickets or and she's just like, Don't you <laughs> <laughs> There's like all of a sudden this like little kinda scared guy. That you see, to like, oh, okay. He is like finding the buttons that he found throughout his life with her in particular, and just seems to be trying to smooth over some troubled waters with uh, <laughs> fond memories. 
And it's like, uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, well, uh, we'll meet you later mm -hmm. night. If, um, uh, say I'm Mother June, I run the Church of Renette. If you want to come visit us, we'd be happy to have you. Or if you just need anything, feel free to contact us. Very well. Hmm? Well, I'll get out of your hair. And as you guys turn around to leave, there's a quick, sudden movement, and Abbott is lifted off the ground and brought over, and she just kind of goes, <coughs> You really ready to change? Because I ain't giving you another chance. He goes, I swear, baby. He goes, And you better get them tickets. Gives him a kiss on the forehead and puts him back down. <laughs> Abbott's like, Five, six, five, seven, maybe. <laughs> She's pushing seven foot. He's a scary <laughs> lady. <laughs> so he's not really like short, short. He's just normal people tall. Yeah, and she's a Goliath. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always thought of him as the lower end of the human spectrum. <laughs> no, he's, he's relatively average height. It's just she's huge. And he, his personality does just seem to slouch and cower. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's hunched shouldered a lot. He seems smaller. Mm hmm. And as uh, you guys are walking out, there's just this look on his, this absolute beaming smile. That they're, like, the weaseliness, the, it, it's like he's who he should have been. You see him kind of a little bit rebuilt as he walks in. He goes, all right, I gotta go uh, figure some things out, I guess. Yeah. I don't want her to be mad. Y'all need anything else from me today? We'll meet you back um, at the <coughs> former Blades Bar. All right. She usually gets done at 8, 830. So uh, I'll, I'll be there waiting at that time. If you all can't make it, I understand. Are we uh, full good to go to show her the hidden room? I mean, everything's moved out of there other than the seal. Uh, yeah, check yeah, for things, but obviously we're planning to take her. So Okay. Yep. Yep. As uh, he walks off kind of uh, whistling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shoulder is back for the first time since y'all met him. Because over there with the money getting paid, uh, with that, it's like Doomstare and Spartacus's boys are supposed to be working on the Blades Bar as far as yeah, what's going on there. Yeah, the cash out put for it yeah. this morning. Yeah. So I'm, I figure we head over there and then see if it's feasible to at least get it moved up into the main room. If able to, it's easier, but we have the time. Yeah, and it's like we can go in and check on it and yeah. see. Mm, it's needing to get moved out as they're yeah. working on things, anyways. So, as you uh, guys walk up, there's the familiar messenger who is uh, directing people into the bar <coughs> uh, with just pallets and wood and pallets of stone being brought in, like just repair equipment and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and a bunch of uh, guys that you generally see wander around near Spartacus are going in there, uh, starting to direct traffic and work on getting things cleared out for the finish up the demolition, basically, before they can actually rebuild. And there's a temporary pillar going in to hold up uh, the ceiling near where there's a huge hole in the back wall. Uh, ask if Doomstairs are on at the moment. Uh, Doomstair would probably be back at the church at this point. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because he's got stuff to work on over there. Okay. His, his stuff hasn't been moved over. He doesn't have anything to do with construction. He's got an apprentice to train. Yeah. 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 Good job. And the uh, the carriage is gone, so Doomsday probably took it. You guys I, have brooms. Well, you don't. Did no. you bring her his broom with her? You. We would have handed that stuff out of the morning meeting. Yeah. He wasn't there. Oh, mm -hmm. then yeah, then I would have taken it with me if it was uh, for people who weren't around. All right. Okay, so I now have a flying broom. Did you get the broom or the mop? Well, what, we what? paid for the brooms. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we got Spartacus to do it. <laughs> no drippy mops. Yeah, I don't think we could have paid Spartacus enough to get us the cheaper 
<laughs> brooms. It's like, no, no, you'll have to pay me more than the difference. <laughs> he probably wouldn't have given you the option. <laughs> but, um, yeah, otherwise, try and get, uh, figure out who's negotiating, who's directing. Oh, uh, it yeah. was the, the runner. Yeah. And kind of have a chance to get anyone to move the mithril up from the basement? The what? He, he like, looks at you with complete confusion. He has no idea. Alright, so, about. okay. Let me read quick. Is this someone that is familiar with us, or that only works through Spartacus? Because I mean, some you, of them work you, and come through to us. Well, I mean, you sent him running back and forth for an entire day. Mm -hmm. mm. He's not... He was like, the head yeah. of construction. Yeah. And it's like, he I'll, ran I'll, like a full I'll marathon. It. Okay. Oh, are you talking about the basement crew? Yes. Oh, yeah, they're downstairs. In they're the downstairs already? Thank you. <laughs> head on down. Alright. So that you walk down, the uh, door to the vault is open. Mm -hmm. It's like there's a couple wedges put in mm -hmm. out of paranoia, seemingly. <laughs> so you walk in and there's uh, people there looking at it uh, with chisels out trying to chisel into the wall mm -hmm. and it seems to be resisting in the room I'm in is it still anti-magic or is it just the in-between that's anti-magic the room's anti-magic too I investigate okay. why it might be resist uh, Are you looking into why it's still resisting. attached? Okay. Yeah, like why it's resisting, trying to figure out what. Um, so with a total of um, nine on my uh, natural one. Oh. You uh, look around... And you're like, stone's hard. It's right? clearly a strength thing. Yeah, they're just being bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. It was mother who got the gauntlets, right? It definitely wasn't me. I'm oh, weak. Yeah. <laughs> I'm designed to be weak. <laughs> hmm. I was just trying to think if there was any way to, uh, yeah, I don't think I've got any ability to see through walls. Especially not through anti-magic. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's inset into the stone? Mm-hmm. Doesn't screw out, does it? I clearly get the crew trying to screw it one way or another. Like, like it's a screwy. So you're trying to get the... Like, yeah, like, like one side is like tilted up, the other side tilted it down. Go ahead and give me an arcana check. As you're looking at it for rotatability. <laughs> Natural 20 for... Uh, <laughs> 28. So you look at it thinking, this is a strength issue. Clearly, it just unscrews. <laughs> And as you walk over there and you look for the ability to twist it or move it, you're like, that's weird. The sigil almost perfectly copies. No, it did perfectly copies a rune of anti-magic in a limited uh, spatial region. Oh, shit. The, the sigil itself is what's causing this area to be an anti-magic rune. And... It's, uh, doesn't rotate. <laughs> to the best of your knowledge, can't unscrew it. I, I don't know how to solve this. Uh, well, I guess the question is how it's anchored in the wall. Uh, you would know insulation-wise 
what they did is they used magic to install it. So it's not just the visible mithril. There is like mithril plating in the walls that it's sending down and loops through to bind it to the wall very strongly. Uh, but once they installed it, they then activated the anti-magic properties. So the reason it's not like are are there act like sigil bards that I can mess with to turn it off? <clears throat> you can certainly try, but uh, you are aware that from removing this mithril from the wall will make this room no longer anti-magic. Well, we've already offered it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, if we have to go enchant something else if we wanted anti-magic, that's fine. So yeah, go ahead. Uh, and... Maybe we don't install it and see whether or not uh, she wants mithril more or an anti-magic room more. I mean, she can't have a room in this facility. Well, Regardless of Abbott's allegiances, we don't yet know where hers quite lie. I don't know. I'd say if uh, maybe she wants uh, this more, maybe she'd be willing to offer a trade. I will leave it to your good graces. So are you still looking for a way to turn it off? Mm, no, I've left it to the mother. Okay. I head out and I find a chair or something upstairs and watch people work. Okay. Peasants. <laughs> Actually, sir, his father was a crafter. Look at him. Look where he's come to now. <laughs> <laughs> what quite peasants? You make distinctions between laborers and crafters. How quaint. <laughs> You mutter in your sleep. <laughs> Do you actually sleep now? Yeah. Okay. You finally have leveled up and changed that invocation? Yeah, when we leveled up. Like I said I was going to do, before we leveled up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I did. Wait, that means he's asleep for the first time in like a month. Yep. Yeah, so I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what time is it uh, approximately now? Because uh, we got to meet her at like six, eight. probably noon thirty to one. Right, so I got like five hours. I'm gonna go assist uh, Jake since he'll be in the area. Yeah, and Abbott said she got off at like eight thirty, not six. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to spend that time up until then assisting Jake. Okay. So, how do you find him? He's wandering around this entire district looking for people to recruit, trying to find people who want to be paladins. Yeah. Uh, I ask the message runner first to see if he knows. Mm -hmm. uh, he has not seen him. Okay. And... Other than that, I'm going to hop on a broom and go and see if I can spot him. Okay. Go ahead and give me a perception check. All right. Seventeen. Okay. So you're flying around uh, searching the district, and we'll uh, get back to you when you actually find him, but we're going to go... To Maribel, what are you doing with your time? It uh, is uh, 10 o'clock for you right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to spend the first four or five hours of the day uh, uh, going to talk to ravens. Okay. I uh, prepared Speak with Animal this morning, which is a ritual, so well, throughout the day I'll these four a couple hours. Yeah. Where do you go to find ravens in the city? We have tons of parks and stuff, so I go to one of those. Fly there, over. There, there is a lot of pigeons, so go ahead and do a... I don't know if it would... I guess perception? Survival or nature or no. perception? Okay. Uh, I, I'll let you do a perception or a nature check. I'll do perception. 15 plus 8, so... 
23. Yeah, that. You uh, do spot a couple ravens. How do you get them to come and talk to you? Uh, hey, Oop. buddy. Well, talk, cast the animal, speak with animals. Okay. Have food and stuff to offer them. Ask them to come over and talk. I'll give them food. Um, we, uh, listen, bud. Uh, no thanks. You're, uh, there's food everywhere. <laughs> like, Why? You can try to persuade them, I suppose. Yeah. Offer a business proposition. <laughs> Ravens love business propositions. Do they? Yeah, well, I'll <laughs> try to convince them, like, I set up this cool house would feed you and eventually make you smarter and come live with me. I'm not creepy. <laughs> Uh, the ravens, they'll remember if you screw them over. Yeah, I don't plan to screw them over. I no, just don't know. <laughs> they'll tell their friends. Yeah. Uh, so you have food, and you're you're like, my proposal, let me own you for food. No, just <laughs> live near me and let me talk to you, and I will feed you and give you a home. And, and, I get a 12. and be your friend. Yeah. You get a 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twelve persuasion. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's modified by the f enticement of food to you know wild animals. He will give the new advantage. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but their comment was, "There's food everywhere." True. Well, it is. Remember, the ravens. Ravens love are totally cool with working together to for mutual gain. Yeah, it's something they will just naturally do. They are smart birds. And they're also totally cool with harassing crows. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just fun. fuck crows. Yeah, <laughs> We're bigger, better crows. Okay. Insight's wisdom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Excellent. So what'd you get? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. It d succeeds its insight check on you. It outrolled you. Yeah. I, I rolled... Well, actually, above average, but Barely. I only have a plus one. It's yeah, so do they. Yeah. It was literally a roll-off. <laughs> it's like insight. The bird is aware that, yeah, he actually will give them food in exchange for those things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's just like... Flies down, lands in your hand, mm -hmm. takes food and goes, All right. I'll, I'll show him. He just, like, hops up onto your shoulder. And we'll fly over there. Now teach him the air of his ways. You're flying. Yeah, he's I got have a broom. broom. Oh, yeah. He, he just like he does not fly. He just hangs out on. <laughs> he's him. just on the tip. Yeah. <laughs> Show him the base I built. The aviary, basically, or menagerie. Yeah. Aviary. Yeah. Uh, uh, muse. Muse. Is, yes. uh, I think hawks specifically. Hawks. Mm -hmm. But I think it would be an aviary. Yeah. And just like starts hopping around and like looking at everything. Yeah. Just like pecking things, kind of. Mm -hmm. Are there any like latches to keep the doors closed, stuff like that? Or is it like something that they can come and go as they please? Come and go as they please, open, but you know, sheltered from the weather. Nesting material and stuff in there. I believe I also put a big bag of food in here at one point with bird seed. I definitely thought about buying it. I don't know if I ever wrote it down. Did you to collect ravens for a while? Yes. I have prepared for He's it. Been to he, he wants ravens. to have a force of ravens <laughs> that he awakens oh. to do his bidding. Yeah. It I'm... seems like a really good idea. <laughs> okay. Who doesn't want a, a bird mafia? Exactly. Mm -hmm. well, you're going to bother not... being a druid. You might as well use your powers. As mm -hmm. long as they're not Disney ravens. Those, those, those are, are cool. racist. <laughs> those are crows. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Then we can bully them. <laughs> yeah, that's why you bully them. They're racist. <laughs> uh, no, the, the, the raven was like, like the one that's a raven is like Maleficent's raven, which is just evil. Mm -hmm. You say so. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he, uh, uh, the raven Hi. agrees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just and he just kind of looks around and goes, Who are you? Okay. Tell him, uh, 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 my name's Maribel. Mm. It's like, 
I, I, I like to spy on people and get information. And okay. I thought you could help with that, and I'll give you food and shiny things. Mm, no, you said I get to live here. Oh, well, that too. And then I just have to talk to you. That's the deal. I talk to you and live here. Okay. Do you want to invite more people, or should I... More yeah, sure, you can come in. <laughs> I, I, mean, right, I, 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 I wonder. He has acquired the house. I own. forgot. All. He is now convinced that you visit him. Yeah, no, it's like I, I, yeah, you can come over to talk. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I forgot that when talking with your animals, they are smarter than one would think. Once I have speak with animals going. <laughs> yeah, you can come over. Okay, well, I'm going to go talk to more ravens and invite them here. Unless you have ravens you would want to invite to live here. Yeah, we all know each other. <laughs> now who's racist? <laughs> You're as bad as the crows. Maybe he's like a carrot. <laughs> See, he starts hopping around inside the house just like so happy. <laughs> like, uh, it's like I swear to God this magic bird. literally makes... Well, it's a raven, so it's a full-size bird. Right. Ravens yeah, they're not small. They're pretty big. <laughs> yeah, ravens okay, are pretty but big. But still, guys. like, like a, a relatively like not bigger than like a medium-sized dog, right? No, no, it's they're still like owl. They're about that big. Okay, so like relatively small in comparison to the size of a house. It's an aviary, is the house? It's it's uh, aviary like. It's, okay, you know it's in a uh, Aladdin, yeah, where Jasmine lets the birds... Okay, so it's a birdhouse. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, it's a giant birdhouse. Yeah, it's an aviary. Mm-hmm. My bird will have more birds than I don't know, we do still have that apartment we haven't found a use for. <laughs> <laughs> you want to let a raven live there, too? <laughs> the bird was just like... Yeah, this whole thing is my house now. Yeah, well, like, I'm, multiple stories. Well, I'm going to go find more ravens if I still have, you know, time within my four hours. Okay. So you're off to find more ravens. Mm-hmm. I assume you ritual cast speak with animals every time? Yeah. So, just be aware. I don't, how long does speak with animals last? Ten minutes, ten minutes, so half the half up time. Okay. Four hours. Because... <laughs> It like you have to search, find the bird, take ten minutes, and then the bird has to still be in the area. Yeah. So you're probably doing ten minutes and then flying around trying to talk to birds. Yeah. I'm uh, one of you. <laughs> <laughs> I figured there would be a big flock just hanging out somewhere. Versus very scattered. But <laughs> But if I can only find them one at a time, that's how we'll do this. <laughs> Say, if you want to make it easier on yourself, uh, set up a, a telephone wire and just, or or a clothesline or something, string it up and wait for them to just go and stand on it. No, I mean you're just looking for them. You're not trying to find places that they congregate. You did perception, not nature. Yeah, true. I do have a way bigger bonus for that. <laughs> yeah, DCs were different. Mm-hmm. But they, and, like, results were slightly different. Yep. Perception of just spotting the correct bird was lower than finding where they would naturally congregate. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm fine with I've chosen this path for this set of time. Then when I'm done, I'll, I'll go back to and play with Huxley for a while and start reading the book for eight hours. Okay. Oh, because you're doing a 12-hour limit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, you go around, uh, give me another perception check. Let's see if you find another. Oh, only 11. Yeah, you don't find uh, another raven. Okay. Find some pigeons. You find some seagulls. Definitely don't want seagulls. Those guys are assholes. (laughs) Yes, the raven was so nice. I mean, he's he's just smart and kind of mean. Wait. Seagulls are just assholes. <laughs> no, cause Scuttle's a seagull. Who? Scuttle. Uh, did they get a did they get no, a bonus to slide? Ariel. Yes, but actual seagulls. Oh, that's the are worst jerks. Disney film. Uh, I'd also like to point out that Scuttle did nothing but lie to that girl her whole life. Scuttle didn't know the truth. Yeah, so but he could have said dumb. he didn't know. Yeah. Well, he wanted to impress the cute pretty mermaid. <laughs> that He's makes a him bird. a weirdo and a liar. 
but no, seagulls aren't natural thieves. They literally are, are will sure? al almost always prefer food someone else is eating versus food right in front of them. I mean, yeah. But they're nice. afraid of the shiny things, because that's why Disney has like little spinny things on top of a bunch of buildings that are metallic, is because the, the shiny flashes scare them away. <laughs> All I know is that when I was uh, out in Maryland, I was on uh, the beach, and they had $5 like popcorn buckets. They were 5 bucks of french fries. You just cover that stuff with malt vinegar, and you go out there, and you like be eating it, and those little bastards would try to snag them from your hands. <laughs> And then I would, basket. I would honestly hate that um, for myself. But hearing the story is amusing. Do to you me. think capsaicin works on birds? It does not. Most birds are, are do not have the features to suffer from capsaicin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's. Uh, let's go ahead and roll for your book. Okay. Because it's what is it on? Uh, no, that's staff of bird call information. Nope, nope. You're enchanted? Enhanced. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what book did you get? Uh cartography. Oh, right. You're learning a new skill. Yes. So what'd you roll? Uh so four plus eight, and I'm guessing this is intelligence. Uh yeah. Mm. Just a straight intelligence roll. Yeah, straight intelligence, nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, you start the book and it doesn't, uh, isn't going very well. Yeah. The introductory chapter is really dense. <laughs> but I, I, I will make notes and at least a list of tools to go out and buy tomorrow. Okay, you can buy a cartography kit if you'd like. Okay, so that's your day. Yep. Uh, Jojo. I have things. Yes, you have things. <laughs> Let's see what purry dresses you get. Mm-hmm. So. This is the vibes. Okay. And then the skirt is this color. Top okay. is stained black. Okay. Not so much out poof, but like yeah, when very she spins, down. it's going to go out. Okay. But she's not. Same, a less tutu, more just tool, tool. skirt. Okay, because yeah. that that was like tutu is very out. No, yeah. I realized when I was looking, I was like, like no, not the vibe. She's thinking of the material, the... not the shape. Yeah, that, that yeah. that's why I was like, um, I'm gonna let you figure this out. No, no, I appreciate that. Okay, so uh, lace into kind of uh, almost best corset Le yeah. leather, black, yeah. black, black leather. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and then a pale pink, pale pink. Uh, dress. Mm-hmm. Tutu. Or so, skirt. Tool skirt. Okay, and then he's just like, so my idea. Are we thinking accent latches? So, like, he starts showing buttons, and then he shows, like, metal clasps and things like that. Things to hold mm -hmm. the corset together. It's not going to be a traditional corset. It's not going to mm -hmm. affect your waist or anything. We're just going for the look, I assume? Yes. Okay. So, it's going to latch up the front. Mm-hmm. So do you want, and he like shows you an array of like different latches, some that are like pink, some that are black and pink, some that are like almost marble, where they're like, there's some that are pink with black accents and black with pink accents. And like, you would want black with pink accents. Okay. So like almost a uh, mother of pearl, but pink instead of white mm -hmm. with uh, onyx mm -hmm. kind of uh, thing on silver latches. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes. he's like, okay, I can do that. And he's like literally opening drawers. Yes. And he just like starts taking out your selections and mm -hmm. uh, putting it all together. And he goes, excellent. Uh, doing footwear with them? Yes. Um, I yeah. have, I don't personally do it, but I have a guy I work with who I send what I'm making to him mm -hmm. and he makes shoes to match. You just have to go over there for uh, uh, sizing and fitting. Yes. Excellent. So, the costs associated with this. This mm -hmm. is no magic, basic, uh, basic cloth, tool work, leather work, a little of that. Mm -hmm. This will be 
uh, 20 gold for the outfit, and then the boots are probably going to run you between 5 to 10, depending upon what you decide. Ken, wh- what's... Okay, we're we're going to send the bill... I'm going to cover most of it. We're going to send the remaining bill to Mother June. Hmm. You said you're a friend of Molly's? Yes. I have 17 gold pieces and 8 silver pieces, and they're all yours. And I'm willing to come How back as this? I earn more to pay I've off I've worked less. with Molly and uh, her apprentices and people before, so here's what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. He opens up a thing with... Uh, like a small needle and a piece of paper on it. Mm-hmm. And he goes, this is a magical contract. I'm going mm-hmm. to write in uh, that this is how much you owe me, and then mm-hmm. you'll pay me within two weeks. I think that can be done. All right, two weeks, no interest two weeks. I'm fine with that. Okay. I've worked with Molly a lot. I make all of her suits. Mm-hmm. They're gr- fantastic. Okay, so uh, he writes it out, and it is like a basic contract. It's like you'll pay it off in, within two weeks. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it gets 25% interest a week after that. He goes, it is steep after that. If you need to, like, talk about it at, at a later point or come in, like, I am not open. I'm open to negotiations. I'm like, not open to negotiation. I, I will I will talk to you. I'll talk to Molly. Whatever you need done. Okay. We, we can talk about it and figure it out. Don't just ghost me. Yes, I sir. get, um, sniffy. I, I won't. I would not. And as, you, as he smiles, there's just so many teeth. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I won't, I won't so. She, like, feels that she should be afraid. She's not really afraid, but she's like, I, I, I want to be best this friends is, with Molly, so she's not going to step on the person that's doing her. This bullshit. is like a 55 to 60-year-old human. But with the teeth? Yes, he just smiles really largely. Howl. Yeah. Thurston Howl the third. He's a werewolf. I forget, what's the name of the store? Uh, 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 Thurston's, Thurston's threads. threads. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I thought it was another layer of pun for that. <laughs> no, no. Okay, 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 okay. No, she she gets the message. She's like, yes, sir. Well, I, I'll I'll make it work. And I will write you a note for uh, the shoes. We're going to add it to this bill, payable at the same time. Okay. I'll take care of it from there. I've worked with him quite often. It'll okay. be fine. Okay. So he. Uh, you do that, it is a magical contract that is sealed and signed, and he sends you with it. Uh, do I need to do some sort of, like, roll to make sure that there's no, like, it was, it was a No, it's, it's, it's not legalese. It's a very basic contract. Okay, cool. However, this is the opportunity for you to add things. Like, if you suddenly decide you want it resizing, self-repairing, cleaning, any magical s- bullcrap that you want to make add, now would be the time to do it. Because it will be more expensive after the fact. But you do have a two-week timetable. I mean, hey, two weeks, you can make tons of money that time. Well, just 20 plus shoes, I don't know what that's going to cost. Up to I, 10, so 30. Okay, so it's 30. So I have just a little bit over half of it right now. I don't know how quickly I can make money in this world. If you're part of a thing, we're going we're gonna to pay. Are, are you sure? Because you don't know, though. Right? Yeah, I don't. You, I no. literally don't know. Jim Jr. Doesn't. I'm. Um. She's. She's taking the bet of like. A, I was told to be muscle, and I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing today. But I'm gonna just make sure I get really good information to where they wanna pay me tomorrow, and that's kind of her mindset. So she's just going for this, and is like, at the very least, gonna maybe try and like beg and plead Molly to help her out. Okay, so, so no, she's, no alterations. No, no, just, no. Right now, she just wants basic. Maybe one day when she's more rich, she'll get a fancier dress. She just needs cool dress. Okay. By the way, is cleaning blood still a utility magic? Uh, it's a relatively basic magic of non-utility. Okay. Like that's just. I'm sure there's like a cleaning blood that's utility, but that's that's the, women's garments. You can just buy. <laughs> That for twenty five gold as a standard D and D item. True. Surgeon I, slab. Like you yeah. can just have self cleaning yeah. clothing as yeah. a D and D item for twenty five gold. <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> didn't know if you know the guy that you told me what's like. Well, you're keeping your clothes clean while you're in battle. But I that, don't know if I'm gonna. That's let not that the only fly. way blood gets like, surgeons. Yeah. Morticians. 
Uh, no, we have already uh, pointed out that a scalpel is regular magic and not utility because it cuts people and it's technically doing damage, therefore it doesn't fly. It, that is true. Because <laughs> it's like, there, there's no way I can't make this deal damage. It deals damage even if you're using it for non-damaging purposes. Yeah, it, even if you're healing, you're still dealing damage. <laughs> right, because there's, there's recovery time. Mm. Cool. I have fancy dress now. You have uh, fancy dress being made. Made. And he sends you over uh, two uh, doors down to a cobbler. Okay, I'm going to go into the cobbler and be like, Thurston has sent me here. A little gnome head just kind of pops up to the counter. What? Thurston! Sit! 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 sit, sit. Shoes! Shoes! He, he sits you down and rips it off and goes, Rips them what off? Your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, darling. <laughs> no, no, that motion felt like shirt. Shoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> just call me a shirt. Wait, what? Are... Like, so he puts you in a chair that, like, you fall into, and it just like instant reclines. <laughs> and puts your feet at the correct level, and he like takes off your shoes, Stop. and he's just Sorry, like smelly. starts looking at your feet and goes, "What a weirdo." <laughs> Pulls out like measures and calipers and starts like taking very detailed measurements. That okay. And oh, wow. then he looks I'm up. Not, and, I'm not gonna. There's to sent you. Yes, sir. This, 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 this. Thank you. <laughs> and then he like disappears. Like, Does this man use mercury extensively in his shoemaking? <laughs> You're not there. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts down the thing, and then he goes over and like that is a cobbler. That one. <laughs> it, he like goes, "Thank you." And there's a poof of smoke, and he's back behind the counter, and he just kind of goes, "Oh yes, type of boot, Me? shoe, drinkable, shoe, shoe, boot, boot." Dancing heel? Yes. Flip flops? No. Strappy sandals? No. Crocs? Crocs. No. <laughs> Good. So Didn't have to execute you. Excellent. Knee high, thinking leather boots. Leather boots, knee high, lace, zipper, lace. fasteners, lace. Lace. Or uh, no, like laces. Like, like well, yeah. Yes. I'm thinking of a boot Black. just you know, fastened Black with lace. 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 <laughs> Silver fasteners. He, he, like, looks at you and just kind of goes, Yeah, don't take this the wrong way, but, uh... I quite enjoy my height, but also I would love to be five foot. <laughs> so probably more like a, a five inch heel. Okay. Because I'm four foot, and I, will, I just won't, I won't ever get to five foot. You a one foot heel! So one foot five. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't need a one foot platform. I'm, I'm okay with just awesome. a five inch heel. R you do realize what a five inch heel is on a Massive. boot that small? Oh, fudge. And he's talking platforms. Oh, then yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do a five inch platform. Okay. So, combat style, almost top nail, five inch platform, two tone, pink platform, black boot. No, it's all black. All black. With the pink laces. Interior? It's pink. Silk? Yes. Of course. Of course. Of course. Enchantments? N -n None right now. Excellent. Gotta keep it on the slightly cheaper side. Already signed? Yes. See you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Oh, one more thing. <gasps> Socks. <laughs> and he like it was like disappears and reappears on like up and uh, hanging almost from a ceiling and throws a pair of uh, socks at you that are like pink and black uh, striped like Peppy Long stocking stocks. And These will do. You feel them and they're like super soft, mm. very strong, very comfortable socks. And he goes, turn it inside out. Yes. You turn them inside out, and there's no inside or outside of the sock, but they're clean. Every time you turn it inside out, it's self-cleaning. Magic. And he goes, I love... I love... Gotta look out for each other. You're, you're amazing. 
I know. <laughs> and he just like disappears and reappears. What to do? Busy. Yes, sir. Runs out. So confused. <laughs> Having socks and hands. She doesn't put them on yet, though. If you ran out, you might not still have shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait. I have to roll for shoe. <laughs> what, Tracy? 17. You, like, the shoes just go, and they, they're dangling around your neck by the laces. And he goes... <laughs> Dad has still got it. Well, she, I'm not guessing a natural twenty. She, no. <laughs> she uh, she's gonna go um, and uh, and uh, just walk barefoot out. It's fine. Um, and go back to the in the red horse. Yeah. Okay. Mm, nope. Just long enough to put on shoes and f- uh, find a find a place to put her socks. She needs a room, and then she wants to go. What time is it? Uh, by this point, uh, let's see. You got there probably about ten thirty, eleven ish. So you walk back. It's probably eleven thirty ish. Yeah, I want to go uh, um, without Mary to the suburbs. Okay, it's about a four, four and a half hour walk. Can I find a like a like a taxi? Uh, yeah, you can order a cab. Yeah, I want to do that. It's, it'll cut the time in half. I don't. Oh crap! Did, I don't have money. Did you did you give all your money that you had so far towards the thing? I put down that it's thirty gold of debt. I didn't take any uh, money from her. We've not taken any money yet. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You you might not actually. Unless your character was born here, might not know how to get to the suburb. Yeah, I might have to You're wait. You're ruining all of my fun. <laughs> um, I still think she wants to try, though. Um, Walking? N- no, hailing, hailing a cab. Okay. Um, so you walk into the red horse, put your shoes on, and walk mm-hmm. out? Pretty much. Okay. With all those people, you could have asked. <laughs> but no, oh. it's better for this character to have gone to some work. She could have completely asked, not thought about it, gone back out. <laughs> yeah, no, no. She's she's uncomfortable still, I think, with everyone there. But she's not asking anyone any questions. Right. Um, She wants people to like her, but I don't think has the social skills for it. As, um, as you walk out, you see Jim walking up with a mop and is just cleaning the floor. From the like huge, uh, puddly, dirty footsteps you just tracked in. Huge puddly. They're not huge. My feet are small. I was talking in quantity, not relative size. Oh, that makes like, sense. You just walk across a city street. Barefoot. Barefoot. Walked in. Walked in. Put on my shoes. Walked over. Put on your shoes. Turned around and walked out. <laughs> Like a crazy person. Sickers. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm not recounting that. No retcons. So he's just, you know, mopping. <laughs> she realizes he's never going to love her. But he anyway. doesn't seem annoyed. He's just cleaning up. Like, it's part of his job. There was a mess. He's cleaning it up. She's going to say Thank you. Sorry, I got stressed, and then just like runs out. Does not wait for a response. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Bye. <laughs> and then still looking for a cab. Okay. So this is like a. How do I get cab? Uh, mainly Union Air. There's cabs and stuff like that. You can find them. Mm-hmm. Do you wish to? And you just kind of go. You know. Hey. Need, and, need to get to the sur- suburbs. How much would that cost? So, uh, horse and carriage uh, stops, and this like sweet older human leans forward and goes, "Oh, honey, where do you need to go?" Suburbs. Oh, okay. Um, that's going to be about four gold. Gosh, dang it! It's expensive here. I mean, it's a 
two and a half hour ride, so... Oh my gosh, is there a faster method of traveling? Teleporting. How do I do that? Magic. Oh, fudge. I, I, I drive a cab, I don't teleport. <laughs> is there a person that could teleport me that I could pay them? Probably a wizard. Oh. There's Good. druids wandering around, too. Mm -hmm. Just imagine something. If you wait near the tree long enough, sometimes one of them will bring you through. If they're going there, but, but they might not be going there. That's that's like a, a gamble. Yep. Yeah. Oh. All of life is a gamble, sweetie. I don't like that, ma'am. Um, no, I, I I can pay for for uh, for so for, for I can pay you the money. <laughs> All right, get on in. Okay. Just imagine the cabbie with teleport being like, how long did we get there? Two hours. I thought you said teleport. Union rates, man. Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I got you there happened? faster doesn't mean I don't get my money. What happens? No, you know. You, what do you mean? No, no. Make them wait there. Two hours. Union says it takes two hours to get to the suburbs from here. So sit there. I'll, we'll go in two hours. Um. Yeah. Ride along to the suburbs. And yep. then once there, she has no idea where to start. Um, so yeah, well, you somebody basically... did mention murder and arson. So I mean, <laughs> so yeah, you're just kind of dropped off mm -hmm. on a Monday afternoon mm -hmm. in the middle of the suburbs. Mm -hmm. She wants to make some sort of like perception investigation, some sort of check, uh, looking around. What are you? What information are you looking? For? I think she wants to look for the place, like. Probably like a tavern or some sort of like gossip hall, like where people would be talking. Okay, so you're looking for a gathering of people. Yes. Okay, uh, that would be investigation. Are you going around asking people where that would be, or are you wandering around looking? I want to wander around, kind of looking. I don't want to wander too far, but I want to kind of wander and look around. Okay, yeah. so you're not talking to anyone. You're not just yet. Looking. I'm still trying to find the people that I want to talk to. Okay, so yeah, uh, perception check. You're right. just looking for. All right, we're just going to look. 17 plus 5. 22? So, yeah. Okay. So as you uh, wander around, you see a bunch of uh, ladies. Mm. And uh, look like they're kind of wearing... Uh, some of them are, like, clearly wearing working clothes, and some of them are clearly not. And there's, like, a gaggle of younger children with mm -hmm. them as they're walking over to a uh, building. Mm -hmm. It seems like a community run kind of building. They're they, bit, so it's and women. they're carrying like baskets or sacks or okay. uh, large bundles. Wait, and they're going to the building. Yeah, yeah, and they're kind of chatting along the way. Alright, um, now height wise, am I matching more with the children or am I matching more? It's a very diverse community. There's gnomes, halflings, okay. dwarves, elves, like okay. dragonborn. There, there's people of all, all heights, all, all, heights all races. Okay. There's some uh, centaurs wandering around. One of them's delivering mail. Okay. Like, then there's she, all sorts of different races. Then she's going to go up. Um, I, I want to, like, stumble upon them, kind of looking like haphazard and lost mm -hmm. um which i don't feel like it's too off for the character so are you going for a performance or are you just being jojo because a performance like will be like a deception check to make them think that you are harmless and haphazard and lost yes yes i want to be a like a performance i'm not going I would as, like, like to point out that you are carrying a very large club on your back Mm. Like, you are dressed like an adventurer. You're carrying weapons and things of that nature. Like, everything that you have in your inventory is on you. What's on me? Because otherwise... Because you, you haven't have gotten a room yet. Yeah, you don't have a, you don't have a room. You haven't put anything anywhere. You're literally wearing or carrying everything. <sighs> Just in your backpack that all those you know, insane adventurers wear. Are those backpacks standardized? I, I mean, as much as backpacks are standardized. Okay. Could always go for spying. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, should I poke around corners and just follow them? That that's probably I should. I probably it's like broad daylight. Mm-hmm. 
There's more than one way to stealth. Yeah, I want to stealth. I want to stealth along with them, trying to get close to listen to them. Okay, so you're trying to act like that you belong within the group, or trying to like yeah, like disappear. like merge seamlessly into them, just like like be hiding among them. Okay, uh, go ahead and you can choose to do a performance or a deception. I'm, I will pick deception. Mm. I rolled an 8, but I have a plus 5, so that's a 13. Okay. Kind of wander in with your big bag, trying to act like that. I mean, you, you're carrying a bag, they're carrying a bag. Yes, you have a couple sticks out to it, but who doesn't have a couple <laughs> sticks? So, as you wander into this, like, community center mm -hmm. style thing, you'll hear a lot of, like, ch 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 and like, like of uh, fabric being uh, flicked and uh, that, and there's just general chatter going around as people are laughing and chatting. And as you walk in, there's some children laughing and playing and that getting yelled at to stay out of that. Mm -hmm. and it's a bunch of, of men and women and people who are doing a little better in communities, servants, washing laundry. It's a laundry center. Mm. So they're like doing laundry, doing sheets and stuff like that. And it seems like the community has come together to pay for a lot of magical services of this laundry center. Okay. So there's like, people are putting stuff like there's a table where they're dumping like the full laundry mm -hmm. onto it and it folds <coughs> it and then they just stack it back up. Is there any sort of like name on the building as we were walking in that like tells me what the place was called? Uh, no, nah, it's just says a uh, community, uh, Community sponsored laundry or community laundry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so these women that I kind of followed in just start doing laundry. Yeah, they, they seem to be walking to like kind of specific areas, but the ones who wandered in all seem to like they're kind of working in the same area. They're working together. Mm -hmm. You know, one of them might be doing someone else's laundry while they're like watching and entertaining is, all the kids. Like they're working there, together to get a task. Okay, done. is there like any talking going on? Oh yeah, they're all gossiping and talking. Okay, about okay. So husbands I and wives and I want to. I want to try to hide my backpack mm -hmm. um, in a corner somewhere. Okay. And then find a currently unlike occupied basket of clothes and start like doing laundry. I mean, everyone is doing like pretty much their own. There's not a lot of them, but you can try to. But this is a open, well lit area where people have good sight lines, so it would be a higher sleight of hand to, to steal it without any. Okay, noise. then second question. Um, maybe I just try and clean my new socks. <laughs> you just sure. turn them inside out? <laughs> no, I'm a just, I don't know, I'm a workshop. I mean, you do you know that in your bag there's probably adventurer's clothes. I of that literally nature. did not have that written down. Okay. No, no, you have a whole bunch of men's clothes. Yeah. Why? Because, because you took someone's back. Oh, oh, yeah! I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash the men's clothes that I have. Yeah. Okay. That I forgot that I have. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep. yep. And my socks. Okay. <laughs> socks are super easy. I know, but it's, it's, they're just a part of the, the chaos of clothes. So, just, so you walk up and there's like a tub and there's mm -hmm. three seashells on top of it. <laughs> Three seashells? Yeah, yeah. On the tub? Yeah. yeah. What happens with For washing yeah. the clothing. Okay. You never you never wash with seashells? No. You don't know how to use the three seashells? <laughs> um, <laughs> Beth doesn't, but Jojo might. It's a layered reference. I'm it's so hilarious. lost. <laughs> I am I am like ten years behind, if not more, on the jokes of this of oh. this group. Oh yeah. Oh no, this is a movie from the eighties. <laughs> okay, also, you know It's it's one of Sylvester Stallone's greatest movies. Okay, again, again. Sylvester I'm, Stallone, I'm Sandra Bullock. 26, great movie. <laughs> and I rejected anything my brother says. You know, so I don't know your 80s references. The, the joke in the movie is, the main character also doesn't know how to use the seashells. 
They don't well, have toilet what... paper. They have three seashells. Oh. And everyone he asks goes, you don't know how to use the three seashells? And they just <laughs> laugh at him. Mm. <laughs> this is an action movie where he's the main character, <laughs> apparently wandering through poopy butt the entire time because he don't know how to use the three seashells. No, he, he curses to get paper. <laughs> uh, to also, get uh, Arnold for president. Yeah. Arnie for president. Um, so yeah, so, so, so she's, she's gonna, does she, can I make some sort of, like, knowledge check, intelligence check, to see if she knows how to use the seashell? No, I'm, I'm just fucking with you. You're just fucking with me? Cool. Cool. <laughs> then yeah, no, Joe just a correct seashell <laughs> and scrubs it on the clothes, you asshole. <laughs> it makes it <laughs> like a washboard kind of sound. Cool. I don't know where the soap is. I'm hoping that the shell itself is soap. As you're rubbing it, it seems to be coming clean, and like you dip it in the water, and it's like, I okay. love it's coming clean, and then uh, looking a little confused and like having to grab the right seashell. One of them's like, "Honey, the other one will uh, mend any rips and tears." Oh, thank you so much. It's my first time coming here. I'm new. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. I'm Maribeth. <laughs> You had to give random NPC a Mary name. <laughs> and my name, thank you very much. Um, hi Mary Beth. Um, um, have you been have you been living here long? Oh, uh, yeah. Me and my husband married. Ooh, hundred fifty years ago. What it's race a, is she? Older now. Names. They make two hundred easy. Um. And you guys moved here, like, shortly after? Oh, no. We, uh, used to work, uh, down in the laboring, and then, uh, my boy, got blessed and made it big in the circle, and, uh, retired us, and we moved up here. What's the circle? Oh, you are, oh, bless your heart, you ain't from here. <laughs> uh, no, I'm unfortunately not. It's, uh, the big racetrack. He was a relatively famous jockey, oh, 75 years ago or so. Oh. Um, and, and the, the racetrack's also in the suburbs? Oh, no, it's its own area, a little further off. Okay. 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 Um. Are you here visiting family, sweetie? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a deception check. <laughs> I got a 14. Oh, who are you visiting? My mother. <laughs> What's her name? June. <laughs> mother June. <laughs> Go with the lie know. that's true. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? I don't know if I've met her. <laughs> um... Um, well, she's actually just in the town over, and I was just exploring, so I'm, like, really, like... Oh, you're trying to get some laundry done for a show up so you don't get hit with it. Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, she would be really pissed if I showed up with... So are you um, going to the university here, or...? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so... <laughs> <laughs> Sweet pea. Um, baking. Baking. Yeah, I really want to be a top, uh, top, top world baker. Oh, okay, that's I a good goal. I love pastries. Don't we all? I know it's it's really like I have to I have to do a lot of running to keep off the pounds. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'd just be like a little ball. Same dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if that husband of mine's libido ever slows down, I'll weigh 400. I've never done that before, but okay. <laughs> Get your gnomish man. Oh. No, clearly you like him a mite bigger. Um, yeah. Because um, the men's clothes are <laughs> Yeah, like human no, this size. is, this is, uh, these are my dad's <laughs> clothes. Must take after your mama. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. does happen. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> so you're like five or six sets of clothing that you had from this guy who is now trying to fit into your clothes I'm sure <laughs> are uh, are cleaned and she goes just lay them out on the table it'll fold them up for you it's super neat really that's fascinating yeah, just 
she like picks up an armload of her clothes and goes, watch. And like tosses on the table and it lands and it just starts folding itself up. That's so impressive. I, I. It folds up by size. So if you've got like, both my boys are about the same size mm-hmm. when we were younger. So I had to separate them, separate them out afterwards. But otherwise it mm-hmm. folds them up by size pretty well. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I, um, I, I, I think, I think a lot of this is just my dad's. And I'm also going to chuck the clothes onto the table. Yeah, so it all folds up, <laughs> look n- nice and neat. And, like, you realize that there had been a bit of a funk following you around. And it was coming from your bag. So, yeah, it, you, you were carrying around some nasty laundry. But it's now clean, relatively well mended from the mending shell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm like cool. I've always, I've, I've, I'm. Uh, my dad's gonna be real happy about these, as I put them back into my bag. So, um, so. She's like currently loading up uh, her own satchel with all the folded clothes. Uh huh. Um, um. You didn't ever think you'd get this far. No. No, I didn't. I also... She's, like, kind of humming quietly to herself. Is it a tune I'm familiar with? Hmm? Is it a tune I'm familiar with? No, just tunelessly. Just kind of, like... She had a nice conversation with someone she's never met before. Like, she's just, like, old lady happy. Where okay. she's just, like... Um, uh... Oh, what phrase do I want to ask here? Um... I want to know more about the area. What's there to do right, around like here? What's yeah? What's what's so what's in what else is in this area? Like before I make it home, like I'm probably kind of hungry. Like where where should I go for a good bite to eat? Oh, there's a there's a couple of really good food places around. Um, mm-hmm. If you're willing to walk about forty five minutes and you can make it to the circle, there's a chef out there mm-hmm. who I'm not sure what he's doing today. It's always something different, but it is as incredible if you've got the coin for it. I mean, it's usually five or six silver, but it is some of okay. the best stuff I've ever had. Um, there's a, uh, a couple food carts around here. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so so this circle, who's it run by? Oh, it's uh, the Good Duke. The Good Duke. Oh. What can I his name? I have it in here somewhere. Fairhair. Otis Vanheim. Oh, it's uh, the good Duke Otis Vanheim Fairhair runs this one. And he also runs another one, but for the, that's for the, the Mickety Muck. Mickety Muck? Yeah, the upper crust. Oh. Like who? Nobles. N- nobles in the mm-hmm. line. But he's a good man. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I do insight to see if she's being truthful about that? Sure. 17 plus 2, 19. Oh, yeah. She I generally admires him. Okay. 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 Um... <laughs> Is okay. this another on cursed situation? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so the circle has good food. The Duke Otis runs it. Um, Which the circle is like a very big racing track. Yes, like like yes, Kentucky, racing. Kentucky Derby level big. Okay. Um, okay. Are there any other like notable places that I should stop by before I head out? I mean, it, this is mainly just a suburb. Right. Okay. Uh, there's a couple nice shops. There's some clother, clothing shops. There's some good, like home goods style shops. Well, I uh, guess ooh. there's a sweet shop. Ooh. Ooh. Um. No, you, you said the wrong word. Um, now I want to ask about that. But I had another question. Um, so so clearly Otis kind of runs part of this. But like, who's, who's in charge of the suburbs? I mean, 
Like the there's an HOA. Stuff. Yes. Who runs the HOA? Oh, what's her name? There we go. Uh, I mean, to I'm, like, I'm this impressed. Is, I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a suburb. Well, it's it's got to be run by an so HOA. Lena Meyer. Uh, can you can you S I E N N A E N N A M E Y E R Selena Meyer. So S E N S I E S I E N N A Sina. Sienna. Sienna. Sina. Sina. I was hearing L's when you said it. I was like, "There's no L's in there." Uh, Meyer. Meyer. Okay. Um. Ooh. What can you tell me about her? Oh, she's a bit of a busybody, but she makes sure everything stays with uh, within the acceptable ranges, and just like hard worker. Uh, where can I find her? Oh, just let your grass grow a little too long. You'll find her. Hmm. Uh, she generally wanders. I think. She's not here today, so she must have done laundry earlier. Uh, I think uh, her wife does something important. I don't remember what. What's her wife's name? Uh, Sophia. Um, What does Sophia do? Something important? Oh, I don't remember. Mm. It, uh, they always run around and talk about this, that, and the other, and I'm just too old to give a shit. <laughs> I have a service that takes care of the lawn. Um, honestly, I, I get that. It's a lot to worry about grass. Um, cool. Well, I will definitely be stopping with... Wait, and what was the name of that sweet shop again? <laughs> just circling back around to normal conversation uh, versus interrogation. I think it's, uh... Mr. Goody Sweets. Thank you know, you. it could also Yeah, just... no, I'm like, that this... <laughs> Thank you. Um, it was such a pleasure meeting you, and you've been so helpful. And Ari with oh, so many children. It's nice to meet you, too. You can be running yeah. with children. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I should probably be heading on to my mom. She's, she's waiting for me. Alright. You have a good day, dear. You too. Bye. And just, you just hear her go, what a nice young lady. Yeah, I did it. I'm gonna run on out. And then, um, 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 I'm, I, oh, I want to go to the sweet shop. But what time is it? Uh, by this point, I mean, by the time you got out there, so it was about three. So mm -hmm. it, I probably didn't take you longer than a half hour to okay. do all that and have all that conversation. Okay, and then again, it's going to be like a two-hour thing to get me back. Oh, you're two trying to go back to taxi. him and then go back out? <laughs> with a taxi, yeah. 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 Um, I'm sure that he'll figure out that it's... It, four hours? We, 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 we've tried this foot? before. We do, it, yeah. He won't leave. <laughs> okay. Um... If you make plans with Mary and then don't show up, he just stays there drinking. He doesn't investigate. <laughs> so yeah, so you she's, she's going to take the long run, but that. she doesn't feel the need to be rushed. She's just going to walk back, but a long walking back, she's going to try and stop at a sweet shop. Okay. And see what's going on at the sweet shop. Okay, so as you walk around, you, the lady basically gave you directions to the sweet shop, so cool. you walk over there. It's a little bit not back towards the direction you need to go, but oh well, it's close enough that girl math says it's fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mr. Goodies Sweets? Okay. Yeah. So as you walk in, there's a kind of a thin man wearing a white candy striped shirt mm. and pants with like a kind of jauntily placed hat. Kind of picture if Gilderoy Luckhart was a candy man. Ah. Like, outrageously attractive but a candy man. Is he an elf? No. Then she doesn't care. Um. He is a, uh, a what are they called? Genasi. Oh, okay. 
Um. He's specifically where it's in my notes. That's in the other room. He is a uh, Earth genos. Well, when you say attractive, I then have to decide if Jojo is going to be attracted to him. But I've decided that she's only attracted to elves. So as soon as you said not elf, she's like meh. Um, Jojo has a type. <laughs> and it is Jim. But also, she might be a bit of a flirt. So, a bad flirt. But, you okay, know. So, he's got kind of like... He's almost kind of gray skin tone. But mm. he has like a bleached uh, blonde uh, hair. Because cool. he has sapphire blue eyes. Cool. Like just deep piercing eyes. No, right. Like, and she he, understands that she you would be attractive to another person, but oh, she's just, only got I'm eyes. Just, I'm just describing the boy. Mm-hmm. And you walk in, uh, you know, there's a pleasant tinkling as you walk in. He looks up and goes, Hello! How can I help you? Hello! Um, I was recommended your sweet shop and, um, was just wanting to oh, look around. Oh, come in! Come in! Go ahead and yeah. look around and let me know if you need any help with anything. Awesome! Um, I'm new to the town, so I was just kind of poking around, seeing what I might want to buy on another day. I'm a little bit low on funds right now. Oh, fair enough. You go ahead and have fun. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. He uh, just kind of goes, I'm just going to work on a few things. And uh, he goes and grabs this huge pot and pours it out onto a table. Is he tabby pulling? And he starts uh, like adding seasonings and things and mixing it together and rolling it out. <laughs> He's making hard candies. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Is it Greg? <laughs> And as he's doing it, you see that he's, like, mm. taking some and putting it to the side and moving them around, and he's adding coloring to mm-hmm. it. And um, he's, like, what a lofty creating, pursuit he has. And he's just, like, rolling all of it. I get that reference. Thor? <laughs> <laughs> um, what, oh, what, what, what's your name, sir? Oh, I'm Kinder. Kinder Goody. Does he make specialty chocolate eggs? I didn't even think about that. Kid is surprised. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. No. Are so, you? Yes, he does. Obviously. Are you the, the owner? Works. Oh yeah, owner, operator, mob. <laughs> and as he's talking to you, you see him like mixing up and then like making logs of it, and he starts uh, stacking things. <laughs> she is watching fascinated but is also trying to pretend like she was looking at other things mm-hmm. and not just here to talk to him um because that's what she's doing um she's she wants to ask um uh, uh how how long have you run this establishment oh i think gosh five years since we opened okay um, and have you ever run into, uh, Miss Sienna? Sienna. Uh, the HOA lady? Yeah. I mean, yeah, she comes in from time to time. Does she have any business here? Well, when she wants sweets. Okay. Um. As he starts, like, stacking things up, he just starts rolling it out. It's a lot of rolling. Well, he stacked like he rolled them up into things, and he just starts stacking them and making layers, and then he rolls but it together, and then he puts it in like a machine mm-hmm. that runs, and he's using his feet to power it. So it's not magical; he's powering no, the no, rollers. No, no. no, she says that it's that's a lot of rolling. Oh yeah, it's worth it though. And as he's doing it, he's just pulling out long tubes and smacking them, and he's making lines of this them. This is like so impressive. And then he, like, picks up three of them, puts them on the edge of what looks like an anvil, almost, and mm-hmm. grabs, like, a, a, a painting knife uh, and starts cutting them. Magic. But, like, not magic. I mean... Do you make all of your candy by hand? Well, yeah. How else would you make it? Oh, oh Magic. No, magic. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could do... And he goes like this, and there's a shelf full of ingredients, and they just, like go up in the air and start swirling around combining and it forms this huge block of chocolate. He yeah, goes, that. But that's boring. I I get that. Your way is really cool. And as he's talking to you, he's not even paying attention to what he's doing and he does that and he like reaches down, takes a thing and flicks it and flicks a candy over. 
Can I do a dex thing to catch it? Yeah, he's trying to flick it to you. Yes! It's not even hard. Twelve. What is it, acrobatics? Sure, you can add acrobatics. Like, how do I catch food in my mouth? You open it first. (laughs) You probably want to look at it. Yeah, that's second. At no, least. I'm gonna just catch it in my mouth. Okay, acrobatics. Go ahead. Give me um. Um, I have a fifteen. Okay, you catch it, no problem. Mm-hmm. And it's like comes and it like starts off kind of almost a little sour, mm-hmm. and then it like mellows into almost a watermelony mm. kind of thing, and then it shifts again, and it goes a little sour and tart again, and it. Just pulls it to like yeah it, it there's about four or five different flavors that it goes through as you're uh, eating it oh my gosh she's in love and just mind blown she's like how how do I learn to do what you do oh it's a little alchemy mm. little inspiration mm. and a lot of time and practice mm. Mm, 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 mm. do you have to be the strong no mm. I mean, you look at him, he seems like kind of like, he's not weak, but he's not any stronger than anyone else, really. Okay. I'm also, he's a caster, so. Um, she's fascinated, but is realizing that this is becoming a dead end because she thinks the important information was at the HOA lady. Um, she's like, I'm going to come back for your delicious candy when I have more money. All right. You come back anytime, sweetie. And then, and then she's just she's focused on uh, on returning to Mary because 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 in the, <laughs> she yeah yeah going back to Mary needs to find Cena Meyer. As you're walking out, a harried woman with like thirty children <laughs> comes in and goes, "All right, you were all good. Line up. Come on." And they like the kids kind of walk in with a gaggle and they line up and they're like all of a sudden very serious. And mm-hmm. she goes, "Okay, highest test score, you get uh, you get." And then she goes and like gets uh, him his favorite candy and he gets like two pieces. But everyone like she goes and buys everyone candy mm-hmm. and went very proud of all of you. And we're gonna go ahead and walk you all home. So children going to school basically, oh. and the teacher brought them in. Okay. And the, as they walk in, you see uh, Goody's like face break into a huge smile, and he starts like doing his patois, like passing it out. Mm-hmm. You see him creating bubbles out of uh, the super hot uh, liquid mm-hmm. sugar, and like popping it so that there's sparkles flying everywhere. No, I did. And just it, it's a man who's in love with his job. Yeah, is kind of the impression you're getting from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, not um, not what I need. So she's gonna head out. Okay. As much as she wants to stay there for forever, she knows she can't, cause she's in debt. And, <laughs> and so motivated by debt and her, the need for her pretty dress, she's gonna leave the sugary place of magic, like heartbroken and just a little you bit. You still sad. have that hard candy in your mouth, and it's like s- switching between those three flavors. Oh, yeah. A slight, like a like a tear of just like joy drips on her face because she's just like so in love with this candy and like would only eat this candy if she could. It's gonna be so sad when we have to murder him in his sleep. We're gonna <laughs> keep him. <laughs> He's gonna be mine. True. Every zone we usually pick Ward in their R's. He's my candy. And, and then we just make a deal. Clearly. Except for the horse's head, where you all of them died horribly. Yeah. Yes. Before you even met. To be fair. The people that then immediately took over the butchers, we just allied with and been like, they would let live. Yeah, there's just vigilantes there now. Um, no, she's 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 like she's like Kinder Goody, good, 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 good man. I keep. Um, I will return for the candy. Um, but no, just gonna head on back. Got to meet up with Mary. Okay, so uh, you head back. You're talking to ravens or trying to. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, Bit reading book. <laughs> reading book. Searching for Jake. Searching for Jake. Oh, right. I said <laughs> I was going to get back to you. So it's been about four hours. And you finally spot him. <sighs> and as you're, like, flying down, you hear, Hey, want to be a paladin? He's he's trying his best. 
<laughs> hey, buddy. All right. I'm here now. Oh, yeah. oh, thank God. Please don't ask me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, uh, uh, Listen, yeah. slums, super easy. Converting the people already involved, super easy. Going to a relatively decent off place and being like, hey, want to dedicate your life to a god? Looking like this? <laughs> I'm not doing great, boss. <laughs> I feel like the church is a great place to recruit from. I don't know, man. You 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 look like a bronze idol to me, but <sighs> but yeah. Listen, I get it. I look freaking great with the bronze and the white. <laughs> it works. I'm killing it. I get that. Not helpful in this moment. <laughs> anyway, say I'll help you. We'll see if, what we can do here. I kind of set you to it, but uh, yeah, it's like. I wanted to help you out. I just couldn't get to it yesterday due to travel time. Understandable. So, yeah. Let us continue on Mary's way, and I guess if he wants to pick up my style. Yeah, you're, you're teaching. Mary yeah. way. <laughs> Mary Beth? Mary Bell, Mary, Mary Beth. Okay. Quick note check. What was the random old lady you made friends with? Uh, Grandma B. I yeah, B. Yeah, yeah, B. <laughs> yeah. Grandma. Now Beth has her own random NP old lady NPC. Mary Beth. <laughs> My best friend. <laughs> I keep her. And so we gotta recruit the HOA. We're the most evil organization in the city. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Through the power I of don't the trust. HOA. The Sienna and the Sophia. They're questionable. I've not met them, but I just don't trust them. That's fair. Yeah. Okay. But no, I, I go back to Mary to, uh, to, to make, you know, I'm probably, it's, you know, I'm, I'm late, but, you know. Okay, so you're hurrying back to Mary. Mm -hmm. You're awake at the bar drinking, waiting for that person who swore that she was going to be there. Waiting for you. Why would I wait for her? Okay, so you're heading out? Yeah. I okay. was really hoping I'd be able to dodge ditch her. Excellent. <laughs> so yeah, Can we you're cross? heading in. You're uh, flying, I assume. Uh, yeah, there's no rules against it, so definitely. Yeah. Can I try and put on a false and... face and cruise on through? Oh, dang it. And it's like, nah, that girl's weird. <laughs> <laughs> the muffin lady? I'm not going with the muffin lady. <laughs> Do you uh, know I'm the just, I'm, just so, I'm just so sorry I missed you, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to delay my work. Dang it! I wish I should have just stayed there. Uh -huh. Didn't want to delay my work. Just had to go and do it. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, Catch you next time. Mary is an intentionally disruptive character. Uh, <laughs> fine. I don't want to go out with some day walker. <laughs> Okay, so as you fly off and you head back and you're waiting with Abbott. No, Abbott went to buy tickets. I mean, he might show up early, but... Yeah, and you're waiting at the uh, bar watching the peasants work. Yeah. We are going to go ahead and uh, close out today's session. Like, comment, subscribe, stick around for more uh, information on the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Come back and join us again. Bye.